Investigators saying a scam targeting Good Samaritans on the road likely spanned across the DMV. We do believe that these individuals have committed other crimes in the area. Fairfax County Police sending a warning after a man fell for what's called a cash for gold robbery scheme. He stopped on the side of 495 in McLean to help three people who appeared stranded. One of them asked for cash in exchange for gold to have enough money for their travels, convincing him to go to the ATM with her. But the driver pulled over when he sensed something was off. That's when two men that were following them in that other vehicle approached and through intimidation, um, got the victim back into the vehicle and forced him to drive to ATMs and essentially drain his bank accounts. Officers caught up with the alleged scammers in the same vehicle on the side of the road days later and found out that gold was fake. It was only weeks after the victim identified them as suspects when this man and woman were arrested in Baltimore. The third has not been found. And he's just you know, hitting the DMV like crazy. Dana Banks says she almost fell for the same trick several months ago in Ellicott City by one of the suspects, 36-year-old Hagi Voinescu. He had two small children in the vehicle as well, and so I guess that's part of the story. He was speaking so fast just really antsy, just really desperate. But I'll tell you, the jewelry that he was trying to uh, sell really looked genuine. She admits if she wasn't with her son, who was in a rush, she might have been a victim. It really hurts my heart to know that, that, that these, these folks are still out there. Fairfax County Police are now working with other police departments to crack down on this case. It's still unclear exactly how many potential victims there are. That's why they're asking folks to come forward with information. It's likely there are other suspects involved. In Fairfax tonight, I'm Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.